Analysis Essay Writing Guide. Hi there, guys. I'm Sir Toothington from Essay Shark, a service where you can find free paper samples, topic suggestions, and writing advice. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to create an astonishing analytical essay. After watching this guide, you will be able to defend a controversial argument or a non-conventional point of view. You will know where to find reliable peer-reviewed sources and how to provide unbreakable arguments to your thesis. Stay with us! Let's rock your analytical essay together! What is an analysis essay? It's a type of paper that conveys a particular idea and defends it using convincing arguments. The primary challenge of writing an analysis paper is that you need to provide various points of view with for and against arguments, not just the ones you agree with. The primary aim of an analytical paper is not to show your idea or reflect on an analyzed source, but to develop critical thinking. For example, a topic about positive consequences of war requires you to forget all conventional thinking and change the way you look at the issue at least for a few hours. We can distinguish five main types of analysis essays. The first type is literary work analysis. Here you need to focus on the emotions, situations and characters and choose a favorite quote and find its impact on the work. In poetry analysis, pay attention to the structure, content, historical background and specific traits of the author's style. When you are working on a character analysis, focus on the character's appearance, actions and behavior. Follow and describe character development and mental reformation if there's anything notable. In process analysis, you are supposed to describe the process of changing states through several stages. The last type is causal analysis. Causal here derives from cause. So ask yourself a thousand why questions while you are analyzing your source. Imagine yourself a four-year-old curious child trying to find the answers to questions like why the sky is blue and start writing this analytical paper. Most academic papers have the same structure, so there won't be any revelatory information here. In the introductory part, you are supposed to present the argument and indicate the analyzed source, its title, general overview, and brief background information about the author or the source in general. Let's say you're analyzing raisins in the sun. Your introduction should contain author, title, general overview, two or three main problems, racial discrimination, social inequality, wealth accumulation in this case, and your thesis. Note, an analysis essay requires the dividing of a general theme into subcategories. So make sure your thesis can be divided into more specific ideas. Now we move to the main body of your analysis essay. Follow this simple structure to nail this part of your paper. You should start each paragraph with a topic sentence in the first sentence of each paragraph in the main body. The topic sentence specifies the main idea of the entire paragraph and states your claim or argument. Follow your claim from the first sentence with an analysis. Now move on to the evidence part, it's time to establish solid logical connections between the main idea from the first sentence and the evidence you provided in the analysis part. Finish your paragraph with a concluding sentence. Here you need to restate the fundamental idea of your argument and show the significance of its contribution to the topic or field. Here you need to restate the fundamental idea of your argument and show the significance of its contribution to the topic or field. The number of body paragraphs is not limited, but it is better to stick to the standard five paragraph essay structure. Remember that writing more does not equal writing better. Once you are done with all three paragraphs, it's time to move to the conclusion. To make your conclusion powerful, include these three components. 1. Restate your thesis. 2. Summarize the key ideas and provide the overview of the analysis to make your conclusion informative. 3. Finish your conclusion with a notion about the significance of the research. We are done with the theoretical part, so it's time to start the practical one. Follow these steps and they will lead you to an awesome analysis paper. Choose an interesting subject, then narrow it down to a very specific topic, and your topic for the analysis essay is ready. Establish the purpose of writing and the questions you want to answer during the investigation. Don't forget to consider your target audience too. Figure out your own opinion on the topic. Try to stay away from critical texts and ideas of other people before you develop one of your own. Collect material and examine it. 
Focus both on the ideas that support your claim as well as those that oppose it. Establish connections between the opposing views and choose the key ideas to be highlighted in your analysis. Write down the summary of these points. It will create a frame for your analytical paper. Establish a thesis that accurately reflects your opinion on the topic. It's high time for the first draft. Writing the draft is a must for building up a proper, well-defined structure for your essay and linking the ideas in a logical order. Write an introduction and specify the objective of the analysis, narrowing the topic sentence by sentence. Write the body paragraphs about the ideas presented in your thesis statement. Don't forget to support these ideas with quotes or examples from peer-reviewed sources. Summarize the arguments in the conclusion and restate the main points from the introductory part. Do not include any new information in the concluding sentence. Go through the whole paper once again and check whether the key points in the thesis statement and conclusion correlate with each other. Make sure you check the paper for plagiarism, grammar, and spelling mistakes before submitting it. Now, writing an analytical essay doesn't seem so horrible, right? We are going to help you brainstorm some topic ideas. Coming up with with a topic that is both interesting and suitable for an academic essay is hard. So here are a couple of ideas for starters. Human phobias and roots of their origins. Ecological crisis in a globalized world. Historical influence on the change of gender roles. Influence of marketing on children, teenagers or adolescents. Well-being in immediate and extended families. You can find more topics in our book titled Essay Becomes Easy, Part 1. You will finally forget what struggling over a topic means with our awesome topic list. Make sure to follow our advice on what to avoid while writing your analytical essay. Don't include a thesis statement in one of the body paragraphs. It should be the last sentence of your introduction. Don't try to make your essay longer with the help of unnecessary statements. This is tempting, but extra words don't equal extra points. Usually they have the opposite effect. Avoid incorrect usage of quotations. Don't use them in the introduction or conclusion. Save them for the main part. At all costs, don't include new arguments in the conclusion. Nope, just nope. Don't start a new essay when you're supposed to be finishing it. Don't follow the temptation to use ordinary language instead of academic. Don't use language that we used in this part. Watch out for incorrect spelling, punctuation or grammar. This is obvious. Proofread your paper before submitting it. Make sure that copyright infringement is out of the question. Check your paper several times to avoid dramatic situations and unnecessary accusations. Your essay is almost finished. Now read your paper once again, checking whether you included all of the following in your analytical essay. Try not to read the text thoroughly. Use purposeful reading instead. Once you're finished, you will have a perfect paper ready for submission right away. Have you comprehensively indicated the source, topic, or the issue you're analyzing? Did you define the central idea and purpose of this research? Have you developed a working thesis statement and put it into the last sentence of your introduction? Does your thesis statement consist of several ideas which will be further developed in body paragraphs? Does your introduction invite the reader's attention to the analyzed issue? Does each paragraph highlight a particular idea from your thesis statement? Is the structure of each paragraph logical and clear? Topic sentence, analysis, evidence, conclusion. Have you used quotations and arguments from reputable sources to support your ideas and provide evidence? Have you restated the thesis statement and connected it with the central idea of the analysis? Have you written a powerful concluding sentence proving the importance of your study? Have you achieved your purpose indicated in the introductory part? Are you satisfied with the results of your analysis in general? Thank you for your attention. You can find more awesome guides and interesting topics in our new book, Essay Becomes Easy, on Amazon. Or find more information about the other types of papers on Essay Shark blog.